Tesla stock is up in the pre-market about 1.69%, sitting at $214.30. I ended up buying a couple of shares on the slide on Friday, knowing full well that stocks tend to fall in the fall. September, October, historically, stocks are notably lower. But I have no idea where TSLA is going to go in the coming weeks, months, or even years. But I can feel it deep down in my gut that this will be the most valuable company in a decade's time. Question is, how soon will the rest of the stock market understand that? Tesla's ambitious FSD roadmap, NEO accelerates with strong guidance, Faraday Future gets Lifeline and more. Biggest EV stories of the week. The market mayhem following the release of weak economic data did not spare electric vehicle stocks and most ended lower for the week ended September 6th. Market leader Tesla, despite staging a recovery midweek, gave back its gains amid Friday's job data included market sell-off. Here's a rundown on what happened in the EV space during the week. Tesla announces timeline for FSD. As Tesla's core EV business has hit an air pocket, the company and its stakeholders are pinning their hopes on the full self-driving technology. FSD is expected to fetch the company high margin recurring revenue stream. The company expects the rollout of FSD supervised 12.5.2 iteration with three times improved miles between necessary interventions. Also planned for the month of September is actually Smart Summon, or as 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 as, which allows your vehicle to come to you or head to a spot that you choose all on its own. Cybertruck should be getting Auto Park and FSD in September as well. In October. The company plans to make available unpark, park, and reverse in FSD version 13. But more importantly, FSD packages will be made available in China and Europe in the first quarter of 2025, pending regulatory approval. Industry watchers say FSD will become a differentiator for the company in China where it is facing intensifying competition. Look, all of that, Pretty spot on. Nobody knows what's going to happen in that 1010 event. The most any of us really know is that they're going to unveil what the robo taxi looks like. Everything else, mere speculation. But by all means, let the speculation fly. I want to see if they've already got what this thing's going to look like when you're looking at it from the app. I'd love to see the first robo taxi fare collected. And who knows, maybe showing if Optimus can get in and out of this robo taxi vehicle. So much could go down here at this 1010 event. And it's only about a month away. Now, FSD is inextricably linked to what the robo taxi can and cannot do. And this timeline for some of these metrics is quite ambitious. I'm not too terribly concerned with whether or not they can meet the deadlines. I'm only interested in whether they can meet the goals themselves, not when they do it. Because quite frankly, no other company on the planet can do what they're doing. NEO stock jumpstarts on strong Q2. Chinese EV startup NEO reported second quarter results showing better than expected revenue and improved margins. Anybody building battery electric vehicles needs to see what NEO is seeing consistently. That is, if you plan on surviving the decade. Volvo, latest to temper EV ambitions. Sweden's Volvo, owned by Geely, said it aims for 90 to 100% of its global sales volume by 2030 to consist of electrified cars, meaning a mix of both fully electric and plug-in hybrids, which in my opinion, that f doesn't count. This replaces the company's previous ambition for its lineup to be fully electrified by 2030. US legacy automakers General Motors and Ford have all recently trimmed their EV goals in some form or other amid tough market conditions. It's not the market that's f***ing up, it's definitely these OEMs. How, how are they f***ing up? One, they make sh EVs. Two, when making these 
EVs, they can't even do it profitably. Three, making battery electric vehicles eats directly into their core business. Where do they make the most money? Their internal combustion engines. It simply doesn't make sense to produce battery electric vehicles when you're losing money on every one you sell. The design and quality of that EV just pales in comparison to any of the EV startups here and abroad. The only recourse these legacy automotive companies have is to focus all of their resources and energy on building battery electric vehicles profitably, but are too frightened to see what that would do to the next quarter numbers or even the annual figures for that year. They're in a classic catch-22 situation. You're damned if you do. And lo and behold, you're damned if you don't. Faraday Future mobilizes $30 million in funding Struggling EV startup Faraday Futures confirmed this week it has secured $30 million in financing commitments from investors in the Middle East, US, and Asia. And that's it for the EV news last week today. To sum it up pretty quickly, FSD is all the rage. As we head into the month preceding the 1010 RoboTaxi event, I'm not sure what the stock is going to do. But I can guarantee you it's going to be a bumpy ride, folks. As for every other company not named Tesla, you need to make battery electric vehicles as fast as you possibly can. Reach economies of scale, make these things profitably, and license FSD as fast as you possibly can. Just like you adopted the NAX as your charger for all of these electric vehicles, you too are going to need FSD on every one of your cars in the future. That is, if you intend to survive the decade. That's all I've got for you today. Be easy. Peace.